only three players left in the round of 32. Only one spot left in the round of 16. Dope Young, formerly known as Billowy, will face off against Ryung while Innovation waits for the winner of that in the final match in the last group of the GSL Code S. Yes, uh, you know, looking at this match, uh, Do Kyung versus Ryung. Well, we already talked a lot about Do Kyung's style in this matchup because he played Innovation, right? He's like extremely good at things like ladder. He plays pretty safe builds generally. He doesn't mix it up maybe as much as you'd like. Uh, now, looking at Ryung, he's very, very opposite of this. Like he plays some crazy builds. He'll he'll do things like a high to start part of the map and go Banshee or something, right? Like he he'll do very tricky moves. Uh, but maybe isn't as good at just a solid standard quote unquote TVP. And when you look at these two styles clash, I feel like it's still Kyung favored. If he just plays these kind of safe things, it's like he has an observer, he has a good amount of stalkers, he gets in some solid upgrades and some solid macro. I feel like that's where Ryung might have a hard time. Fight. Tokyo. Cascade Esports. Ryo. And, uh, opening up with a gas first. Not a big surprise, so, I think. I think everything you said about their styles was 100% dead on. But I do want to point out, I think the, the previous matches they played today are also a factor. I mean, we're young. Did we? Hey, we love you. Aww. Thanks for coming down. Feels so good, man. Bible thump. <laughs> I I want to point out that the, the matches they played earlier today, I think, also are going to impact them a little bit. Ryung did beat Dark in a crazy late game yeah. where he seemed to have navigated an insane StarCraft 2 game from start to finish brilliantly. So at least he has that going for him, even though he lost. Um, Dok Young got Hulk smashed. He did. And I just wonder if that's going to be a factor, if he's going to be a little bit shaken by that. He's had enough time off. And the thing is, Ryung is, uh, to be frank, a much lower level than Innovation. Not that he's not a great Terran, he is, but like, he won't be able. The reason why Innovation smashed Do Kyung, it's like Do Kyung's build, especially in the, on this map in game two, was actually pretty good, in my opinion, against what Innovation was doing. It's just, it's Innovation. He just, he's like, you know, he's a he's kind of China shop or something. He's yeah. just, he's, he always, he's just everywhere. Yeah, he always brings a gun to a knife fight. He's just like, he's super strong. And uh, so it, I think that it, Ryung can't do to Do Kyung what Innovation did. Like, Do Kyung's going to be able to play his game. He didn't play his game at all against Innovation. Innovation's just like, ah, die! And Do Kyung's like, no, I don't want to die. He's like, too bad! <laughs> Uh, ah. Stargate coming up here. Okay, switching it up a little bit. Stargate, a pretty uh, solid opener against Terrence still. Oh, yeah. It's definitely a why not build. Yeah. So it's 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 good. It's well-rounded. It can answer a lot of the things that Terrence could try to throw at you. Yeah, it's good against cheesy stuff, too, that uh, Ryung is a little bit aggressive, a little bit cheesy, a little bit tech-heavy. It, it also allows you to inspect the bottom right side of where Ryung is to see about that free base without sure. having to make any major risks uh, and you can just get a good read on what's going on there here comes the reaper now oh wow okay nice. dead reaper incoming sees the star and, and this is why the reaper needs a shade ability as well <laughs> why so it can shade out of there after getting it can you imagine if you gave some of these units like just a few extra of the same abilities like if reapers could jump and blink Man. The madness you would have there. Bion would have won another GSL by now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so we have the first Cyclone coming out now. Like, so, so <laughs> it's like Marines have Stim and Psy Storm. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. 
Marines have stim, but they also blow up like banelings when they get attacked. It's like, well, I don't know who made this game, but <laughs> that's pretty stupid. You clearly didn't mess around in multiplayer that much before uh. you did that. <laughs> Pretty decent defense here for Rion. Okay. Uh, looks like the Oracle will be able to come in oh, here. Oh, no. Yep. One of the older tricks in the book. As Shine uh. zooms in to show us some of the remaining green smoke alien stuff coming out of the Oracle. Yeah, there. yeah. That can't be good. Don't Do breathe Kyung that is in. just... A lot of times I feel like I'm, I'm watching Do Kyung play when he's having a bad day. He's like, oh, that was a bad idea, too. Well, anytime I see someone lose that first Oracle, it hurts. You know, it, Deer has obviously been a guy recently that I've been talking about a lot with this. But yeah. You can't. That's like, like you said, that's a very old trick to put that there. It's, well, I think the problem it's is... It's so that, common that you should just look at your Oracle when it's there and be very careful. But I think I think this is also one of the easiest indicator of a, a player's mental state. In a televised oh, okay. match, because like overwhelmed or something. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of you know, you know, it's. I mean, I guess the losing the Reaper right away to Lings when they just get trapped is another one. But yeah, you know, the Oracle is one where there's a lot of places you can hide it. Okay, I mean, there's a, there's a craft to hiding Widow Mines. Yeah, uh, and sometimes you'll see. You know, there was that whole meta where they put him out in the middle of the map because that's just when the players Brent weren't was looking big at that. Yeah, he would have his Widow Mine the most. Like, it would go as far out as it could without PNC and be the middle of the map. Yeah, and, and a lot of times people would fly over it. But, you know, I think sometimes you come into this and it really is a very limited amount of time you have to respond. Yeah. So, I don't know. I feel like Do Kyung is still more of a rookie by comparison to especially Ryung here. You know, Ryung doesn't <gasps> always... Oh, <laughs> Oh, he shook his head no when that happened. <laughs> when I see things like that coming, I just stare at their face. Yeah. This is all I care about. Um, so that's pretty painful, but that's Ryung for you right there. Moves like that. That's so this. Ryung. The Phoenix is throwing a tantrum now. Ah, don't send me out so there. angry. Well, one I don't Phoenix. Want to, I don't want to the sound of one Phoenix lifting, as I like that's to right. say. It's, <laughs> he has no Oracle friends. He has no sound Phoenix of friends. Sound of one-armed man clapping. Um, now... Ryung is, I believe, going to try to push out. That was me clapping with one hand. Was it? <laughs> <laughs> it was! Well, from here, there's a lot more pressure that Ryung can just freely apply. I mean, the map has been liber liberated here for Ryung. Uh, the army is over here. Blink is going to finish I, just about when this... This starts up. In fact, it's not going to be done until this army is un unloaded. Unloaded! What are we when even it's looking at? What is happening? What is going on? What is on? going on? That just sits there for that long and Do Kyung doesn't even see it. You know what? I'll take the pylon. Oh, there's another pylon underneath those medevacs. Wow, okay. Okay, so not our cleanest engage. No. Definitely not our cleanest. I almost pulled my hair out when I saw the medevacs just floating there. They just there. sat there. There was like a cyclone coming from the bottom, and Do Kyung went after that. But like, look at your minimap, son. What are you looking at? You don't have any oracles at your micro on the map. I know that much. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> no, you're right. It's I like mean, when it's... a kid comes in with no homework. It's like, what'd you do last night? He's like, well, I don't know, nothing. Like, well, certainly not. It's like my dog did it. It's like you don't have a dog. Well, that that was rough. Um, I think. I mean, this kind of exhibits the difference between innovation and these two players. Is they, these guys seem to have wonkier engages. They know what they're doing and, and why they're doing yeah. it. They don't do it as well or as perfectly as some of these other pros like Innovation or Dark. Yeah, well, I mean, those guys are the guys that these guys wish that they were but are not. Maybe one day. Uh, that is pretty darn quick Liberator range, which is kind of neat. Uh, I would say that that is a very good thing here for Ryung. Uh, you know, it, a lot of times you want to wait until four bases to get Liberator range, but this is such a big map, and uh, Do Kyung is kind of messed up a couple times. He doesn't have great scouting going on or anything. It seems like he wants to play a little bit more of a passive macro game. When you hit passive macro game players, going Mass Liberator and Liberator range 
is exactly how to beat them in this matchup. In fact, yeah. this was the big weakness of stats for a very long time. It was just like, no, man, just sit at home and make liberators, and uh, you're going to kill them. Uh, and again, like I kind of mentioned earlier, Dokyung kind of reminds me of, you know, a, a, an early stats or something. His style kind of goes if, in that direction. If this were an anime, Dokyung would be the younger guy who wants to be like stats, and stats would not have any time for him. Yeah. You know? This, um, guy, this guy would be Deku to the, you know, why can't I think of the name of this? Moving on, the uh, <laughs> medevacs are going to move out here. Now, there's a nice pylon wall up here um, oh to try God. to spot for the drops. Not a bad idea, considering that oracles are just killed off in this game. Okay. A stem coming forward now. Kind of walking around with these soccer's just attacking them. Yeah, Got to be careful here. You know the army is actually just better for Ryang. <laughs> There's like a lot of small moves that Ryang is doing that are really, really hurting Do Kyung. Yeah. Well, Ryang is a good tactician. That much is for sure. Yes, yes. But I thought like this kind of good defensive play would be uh, strong against what we're seeing from Ryang. But Ryang keeps finding damage, keeps doing a good job everywhere. Well, having good defense and and, and not dying is not the same thing. I mean, he's losing units. I mean, every fight you see, Do Kyung loses a few more units. Yeah. He even lost that Phoenix. It was just kind of there to to be a uh, deterrent for drops. I think Ryung might push out and actually win this game. And he, I got to say, strategically, he's playing so well. Yeah. Like, he's just out with a small force pressuring while massing Liberators. This is how you play, guys. This is, like, so good. Uh, what we have to see from Do Kyung, if he is to win this game or have any shot, is leave his base now with his army. He can not sit back defensively anymore. When you go into Colossus tech, your opponent should be going into Liberators or into a weird Viking timing push. And if they're going into Liberators like this, you need to be out in the map and not let the Liberators get into position. If they get into position, the game is over. Yeah, even that Liberator there. Okay, here we go. Oh, no, this is pretty cute. Yeah, look at that. I don't know if this is the way to do it, but let's see. I feel like you could still stop the drop. Jeez. Oh, that's a good storm right there. Yeah. Okay, the unload is happening. The Templars were not able to get over there to feed back the Medivacs. Two Stalkers just walk in. That didn't work. Into a bar. Yeah. Um, okay. This is sort of this jungle of liberation zones. Now, I guess with that many stalkers, you could just kind of bulldoze your way through. The problem is Ryung is actually producing so much more. You know, it's so funny positioning of structures and how that can completely change the fight. Yeah. The fact that it's all clogged up over there. Yeah, this is uh, this is very tough right now. He, this is so efficient for Ryung. Like, he's actually going to win that with the Liberators, I think. This, and he's going to kill this base. I think this might be GG. I think we're yeah, just now Dokyung seeing... Is, there Dokyung. was a lot of sloppy moments in this game by Dokyung. you you got to be a little bit cleaner than this to go into the round of 16 for sure. Yeah, well, if Dokyung does lose here, and it looks like he's really running out of options as most of his key units are being uh, sniped off, his bases and probes being picked off as well. Um, he has a chance for redemption here, but, I mean, there's no more extra lives for yeah. this guy. Yeah, this is, this is the final test here for him in GSL this season. And um, if, if we do have Innovation versus Ryung coming up, which is the way this series seems to be leading it, GG, that would be a great TVT to cast to end of the day. Yeah, that would be very nice. Uh, Do Kyung doesn't seem like he has too much chance against Innovation, the way that the games have been going. You know what I feel like Do Kyung is for me? I think he's my new Young Hwa. Remember Young Hwa? Yes, Where he's like this guy, and you're like, oh, no, there's a lot of brilliance in these moves. He's not as good as Young Hwa was in comparison, I think. Uh, but it's the same type of thing where it's like, this is a strong defensive Protoss player, and nothing ever goes right, and all the games are losses, and it's kind of sad, but uh, still potential here for Do Kyung. Um, I've almost completely given up on him uh, advancing from this group, but maybe he can still take out Ryung. Let's, let's see it. Like, a lot of things went wrong for him that game. Let's not give up yet. There's a reason why we don't just make it best of one. So we're going to go to Black Pick now. Do Kyung just not able to execute what he's practiced. Constantly losing units, having bad exchanges. It's time to reverse that right here, right now. Or Ryung will go on to face off against Innovation in our final match, in the final group of this GSL Code S.
It's going to be tough. It's going to be really tough for Dokyum. Yes, indeed. When, when you have games like this, you have to just wipe those memories away, wipe those emotions away, start over, do what you know, or you will fall out. Tokyo. Cascade Esports. Yo. All right. Uh oh. Oh my God. Yeah, how unfortunate. <laughs> he knew that too. It, it, this is Ryung for you, right? Like he does a lot of proxies. Yeah, yeah. He is a very tactical. You know, there's something funny, especially with StarCraft Two, because the pathing is so clean. Yeah, that you can, if you just know exactly where the vision is, hide the building in plain sight yeah. as the worker grazes by, and 100 percent, if they're going to your main base, they will not check for it. Absolutely. They will check for obscure locations. Yeah. The far, in this case, the far left, the direct bottom, but not right outside that vision path. It's no. so funny. No, you're going to right click into their main base and that's it. And like, it's, it's all very intentional. The people that don't, that are not super familiar with StarCraft, it, it's very intentional that that happens. That's not like an accident or a coincidence. I mean, yeah. that's very much done on purpose. And look at this. The eBay comes down here. This is something we've seen off and on throughout StarCraft 2 where just plant something down there and go, nah, can't expand today. Yeah, and with the Proxy Reaper, okay, he just, no, okay, he started his awe and then realized that that was stupid because his core was almost done, but generally when you go to their base and there's no barracks, you crown out a Zealot, otherwise you're going to lose multiple probes. Look how late this Adept is going to be. And this is in a further interruption now. now. The Adept's almost out, but still. Slowing down mining, slowing oh, down the expansion. Sick micro there. Yeah. Normally you will lose one or two probes there if you don't have the Zella. And, and so the, re the Reaper was picked off. Yeah. That's a huge kill, especially considering there's not another one on the way. Well, a Robo coming up right... Or a, not a Robo, a Factory coming up right now. Stalker on the other side. Ah. It's to the Cyclone. And so that's why that SCD was making... Uh, producing a little bit further on that engineering bay, just to slow down the opportunity for a nexus to be made here. You can see that uh, Dokyon has been hovering at 400 minerals and has no uh, easy way to um, spend it. You know, there's, there's nothing's efficient here. Yeah. And this just gives Ryong a, a tempo advantage as well as he's leveraged his position where mm -hmm. Dokyong's in uh, is, is responding to the Terran instead of them trying to outmaneuver each other. But yeah. the hidden probe here, this actually happens more deal. than you'd think it would. Especially when there's proxies. Oh, but look at this. He's like, no, nah, He bro. doesn't get the scout off, but he sees a cyclone. Uh, that's super calm, though. When you proxy something, you get a cyclone as a backup at home because yeah. it just kind of defends everything. It's kind of a fix-all. Yeah. But uh, had that probe stayed in there a little bit longer, he could have had a good scout that's pulled off. A lot of times, if you do do something like this, they, even if you're pretty good, will sometimes get away with hiding something in your base. You're so preoccupied controlling that Reaper. Cook Banshee on the way, along with that command center. A little bit of a push out here. Don't really expect too much to be done. Cyclone's going to be good defensively. Just kind of scouting around just in case. You slow down that Nexus, you never know. They might proxy something crazy. Okay. Do Kyung's Nexus is close to completion. It is blink, which generally means it's going to be a little bit defensive here if uh, Ryung is going to try to uh, attack in with anything, especially with that shield battery there that's telegraphing, at least to us as viewers, that he wants to be safe and cautious. Mm. Uh, now, granted, if he gets a lot more stalkers with Blink, he can start to get more abusive on the map. But for now, he wants to play uh, a game that is response-oriented. Yeah. And I think that's smart because Ryung is also indicating, like with a Banshee and Cloak, that he wants to be the active player. He's going to be the initiator. It's kind of cool that he's going for a Raven right afterwards as well. Definitely a very useful unit in a lot of circumstances right now in, in early to mid-game uh, TVP. I guess more like in mid-game. 
I have loved some of the pushes that we've seen where Interference Matrix was used on Colossus. Like, if you go into Colossus tech, the Colossus is like the backbone of everything. You have to have it. So, we'll see what he ends up doing with it, though. Okay. Banshee coming up. Observer about to pop out right this moment. Cloak is on. He kind of pre-cloaked it, even. Yeah, uh, not going to work out. And this is a big victory here for uh, Ryung. Dokyung. Uh, Dokyung, excuse me. There's Dokyung, there's Ryung, and then I almost said Byun because I was thinking yeah. about that player a little bit here. This is the Youngs <laughs> of our of our Young game. Ryung and Young Dokyung. Yeah, yeah. So, from here. Dokyung Diary. <laughs> oh, man. So Stim is on the way, as well as Combat Shields. Ryung is, is pushing hard uh, to get as much infantry out as possible. And Do Kyung with the victory there, uh, gunning down the Banshee, uh, which was basically a big waste as far as upgrading Cloak and getting that unit out to begin with. Oh. He's going to get this third Nexus up. It should not be something that Ryung can try to threaten him with. Yeah, not quite yet, but you know what? As the plus one and Stim and Combat Shields finish, there's no doubt in my mind that uh, Ryung is going to push out at that point. Now, he is adding extra gates and getting charged, so that's definitely going to be useful, but he's getting plus one attack instead of armor, so definitely going to have to see some fancy micro from these stalkers. I feel like he needs to just very much slow Ryung down. I, I think so, and I think that's why the stalkers can come out. The two medevacs are just now about to pop out. Uh, up until then, there have been no medevacs in this game, so there was no threat of drops. Just that Banshee that was already uh, denied. Wow, this is actually... Not bad, hey, to be yeah. honest. Really good. Really good. Really good. Look at that. Oh, my God. Yeah, the drop might have to be pulled back. But instead, Ryung's going to commit. He's going to double down here. Now there's Marauders coming here. Auto turret as well. So it seems like that should be the end of that attack. Now let's check over here. There's a warping happening. Man. Just to the right of this, the army's unloading. I feel like with that Immortal out, I don't know if Ryung yeah, can really do anything this, at all. This is easy defense. Charge is finished. Even with just a couple Zealots, that's super useful. Like, yeah, they, this is looking really good for Dokyung right now. Yeah. Well, this is like, he's almost gone too far now. Now he can't even turn around. So this army is going to be bled out. There is a Widowmine going towards the main. Oh, wait, no, that wasn't a Widowmine, I guess. Okay, Dokyung's playing the redemption game he needed to play here. Yeah, showing us some really quality play. And, this, like, I guess this game kind of shows more what I actually thought this series would look like. Uh, it's uh, Dokyung stepped on a bunch of rakes in a row in the last game, and yeah, slipped on banana peels and sat on yeah. sat on benches that were here though not marked as wet paint. He's just kind of defending all these different kind of tactical, strategic moves that uh, his opponent's doing. He's just playing this safe game, and uh, against this, Ryung's strats aren't really working. Wow, yeah, the mine's even being drawn there. And in fact, he launched the missile onto a Zot that charged into his army. Do you see this? Yeah, that was perfect. It's... Did he just do it? Yeah, he just did it. Is he the guy? No, he's not the guy. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, uh, Ryung is pushed down a little bit. Hold on, he's got to be careful. Nicely done. Baits out the Widow Mines. Attacks his own Widow Mine uh, yeah, there. I was going to say Ryung actually <laughs> with a uh, friendly fire attack there. I think this is it. I think we are going to go to game three. Yeah. Uh, Do Kyung is finally doing it. The path to redemption has been started. Okay. Tying it up with Ryung right now. Who will get to go on and face innovation in that final match of the night? Do Kyung, oh, his hands are shaking. Look at how hard his the hands adrenaline. are shaking. Yeah, the adrenaline oh is God. gone. I, I get it. I, I, I totally understand. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It's not as bad as we thought. I could still do See this. That? Oh, man, he needs to get that out of his body, man. You know what he needs to do is ask for a bathroom break. I am not kidding here at yeah, all. Yeah, we, we do allow this one is, break. Yeah, it, this is players. something that uh, you learn as you are a pro gamer for a bit longer and you play more of these matches because the amount he's shaking right now, your mind will not just calm that. It's literally you have adrenaline. You just need some extra yeah, time yeah. to get out of your system. Let's make it clear, guys. That's not fear. No. That's adrenaline. That's your heart's yeah. going so fast. You're saying, oh, my God. All right. All right. All right. Yeah. It can be from excitement. It can be from, you know, he just, there's too much in his body right now. Like, he should be asking for a bathroom break. Just go to the bathroom. Just stand there. Just, oh. 
Take That's your time. not happening because no. we're six seconds away in the countdown. It is all going to come down to this last map. Backwater, Doak Young versus Ray Young. Again, Innovation, one of the greatest players of all time, waiting for the victor of this match Fight. for that last spot in the GSL Code S. Tokyo. So young. <laughs> <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> Cascade Esports. Young. What if they both just look at each other and say, Neither of us is going to be innovation. And then they do the Dragon Ball Z fusion dance. They become Do Ryung and Troco try to take on. Oh, innovation. I like that. I like that. They got two probes and two SCVs. <laughs> <laughs> or six and six, whatever. Yeah. Do Kyung moving across the map. What uh, unit comp would they go? I feel Proto like there's I feel like. Uh, what is the best two v two combo? Is it Proto and Terran in a? Star well, this Crest is two v innovation, right? But yeah, yeah, but I, I think mean, it's, I think we can find the isn't answer. Isn't it like Reaper Ling or something like that? Oh, I heard it was like Protoss making a bunch of air units while Terran had tanks under it. Well, you just I, turtle it late out. Late game, I guess so, right? Yeah, but I don't well, know. it's easier to go to late game and start two versus two, two is 2v2. not as not as explored. We don't know anything about two v two guys. Sorry, we're yeah. Sorry about that. But um, yeah, I mean, if if you had, if you could go uh, Protoss units and Terran units against Terran, what would it be? What are you going for? Uh, I would say just keep going like tanks and tempest and Psy storm. Yeah, right. I think you're right. I think so. You just storm anything that runs forward. Tempest forth. tank. Tempest is hit probably their tanks. It. Yeah, and a little bit yeah. of Psy storm so they can't do anything silly like solved make, it. Make smaller units. All right, we can end two v two now, guys. We figured it out. Well, that great experiment's done. That's two v one, but <laughs> you can yes. end, you can end two v one if you want to yeah, as well. Yeah. Set him to this cast. They'll be like, oh, he's right. <laughs> uh, so I, I feel like there is some predictability here with Ryung. Like, Ryung is definitely the guy who would try to proxy something. If it doesn't work, he would just go back to playing normal. Mm -hmm. He definitely has, like, a very clear set of decisions he makes. Mm -hmm. I don't think that's any secret, but... Well, uh, Do Kyung here going into Starport. Let's see if he flies into Widow Mines as much as we saw previously. Look at this. You outrage me. <laughs> oh. Wait, no, the Adept outranges the uh, Reaper, doesn't it? Isn't Reaper range like 3.5 or something? As far as the numbers of the range go, I don't actually know. I thought the Reaper could actually gun at the Adept from... That's why he was abusing the Nexus I think adept over there. might be 4 and Reaper 3.5, but someone can correct us on Twitter, yeah. no doubt. Now, the Oracle is on the way. There's a Cyclone coming. Oh, wow. He just gets inside. Okay. Well, that's a good move, too. Good building placement keeps him out in the front. A little bit of poke in there by the Adept. Nothing too crazy going on this game. Yep, the Reaper is finally uh, eliminated. Now, remember that the last... Uh, was it last game? Yeah, the last game... The Oracle was just dying to Widow Mines. Oh, no, that was the first game, excuse me. The first game. Yeah. And the Oracle, Mines. yeah, they just, both of them died to Widow Mines very quickly. They yeah, did, like, zero before damage. Before doing really anything. They used up Widow Mine ammo, and that was it. Okay, so it doesn't lose this one. Just takes a little bit of hull damage. That's fine. Now has two Oracles, taking his third base. The Widow Mine is hidden in the bushes. Which is a path that actually the Oracle could go through. There's a lot to where this is headed. Oh, that's my so close. close. Oh, is, God. He's gonna lose one. He's gonna oh, lose God. One. Oh, my God. That was crazy. Look at that Widowmine come up. <laughs> he was moving it to try to catch him over there. Ryung's so good at Widowmine placement. That's he is, awesome. man. He's actually a very fun Terran to watch. He is. Well, sometimes tactically it's like 
We're in the movie Saw, and Dokyun's just all tied up. And there's uh, Ryung dressed up as that, that puppet guy and Saw on his bicycle just going around him in circles. Yeah. It's very <laughs> scary stuff. But you didn't see, you didn't see Saw. <laughs> you really put that together for the viewer. I really I like that, too. Yeah. I just really appreciate that that effort you put in there. Did you see Saw? No. Oh, my God. Okay, there's so many there's so many memes we can make about that movie. Yeah, you actually yeah. just have to go back and watch it. It's it's actually just a good movie. It's scary, but it's also just like pretty what about well done. Saw 6? Is that good, too? Uh, that is up there with The Godfather. You yeah. know, it's one of the all-time greats. Yeah. I don't know. I didn't get that far in the, in the, uh, the Saw movies. Yeah. I was too busy keeping up with all the Transformer movies and all the greats, you know. Well, I'm really looking forward to the 22nd Star Wars movie. I think that's going to be the real renaissance of that's creating be it, Star you know? Wars. They'll be like, oh, they finally factory. got it right this time. Yeah. Yeah. And we're rich, too. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, the fact that he doesn't have that many um, infantry over here, he should know that the medevac did continue to try to push south. I don't think Ryung is going to do any real damage uh, here. I mean, this time around, Do Kyung is, is at least getting to play the game he wanted to play. He's got the two oracles out, which means he can have some map control. Yeah, he's actually doing a very good job here. You can see that he's, like, uh, kind of got himself together. You don't have to do damage to the oracles. They're one of the best scouting units in the game, continually running around tagging. He has shaved off a couple units here and there. You know, he has a good idea of what's going on, and that's important. Now, Blink is going to be finishing up as long as plus one. Getting some defensive cannons and everything. Has this, ooh, that Phoenix actually blocking the medevac. Really, really nice. I got to say, man, Do Kyung seems to be on the path to moving on. His, his games are getting consistently better. Now, granted, he started at a pretty low point. Yeah. But that doesn't matter. All he has to do is keep winning from here on out, and he moves on. <laughs> yeah. Well, against innovation, easier said than done, that's for sure. Keep in mind, too, that also Ryung is a tear and so is innovation. So innovation watching this. Whoa. Innovation's brain. You can already hear it going. Like, beep, boop, dee, doop, boop, boop, beep, boop, beep, boop, boop. Finally. As, as he's just getting all the information yeah. he needs. He's Algorithms are firing off. Mm. Innovation emotionlessly sorting data. Yeah. Yeah. Look like a Mentat. Yeah. Look like a Mentat. Yeah, for sure he's a Mentat. Now, well, he's definitely not going to get dropped. How's that for my commentary? If he gets dropped there, that would be one thing yeah, that would go yeah, wrong yeah. for Ryung. Look at all the cannons he's putting up. He's actually yeah. being very careful about this. I don't mind it. Uh, I think if he just gets on the map pretty soon, that's going to be good. He doesn't know this, but Ryung, once again, going three base liberator range and mass liberator. And uh, the important thing for Do Kyung is going to be on the map really soon. Look at this. That is the most cannons that I have seen in this matchup in a situation like this. Like she looks bases. like a, one of our ASL games here where they just keep making cannons that's, where it's it, like, well, that's okay in StarCraft 1. I don't know if you're I'm supposed to do that. On three bases, so pre-max out? You know, you don't have to. He doesn't have to attack you. You know what? He was massively supply blocked. He's been on 125 for 100 years. Five oh, pylons are about to start. You're right. I'm about to finish. Oh, my God. That's really bad. Oh, oh man. You can definitely see still some nerves in there. He's no one been qualifies a bit of a wiggle for nerd. GSL getting supply blocked that long. Yeah. I mean, that's great. He has cannons. I think Ryung's like, okay, well, I just want to attack you there the whole game. <laughs> yeah. Can't drop there. Yeah. I mean, not, he doesn't have to worry about that We're not in that, that phase area. of StarCraft II where the cannons could move around. Remember that? When the free oh, God. <laughs> that was exciting. Yeah. That's when I knew you were going to be a that's right. champion. Yeah, that's, that's what was happening for sure. <laughs> I'm like, okay, the prophecy's turned true. <laughs> but, uh, look, he spent so much money on those cannons and stuff. Uh, I, I mean, it's okay. No. Uh, like, you should kind of, have, it's, but it's, it's kind of... Kind of not. He's though. not going to be punished for it. Can it's, we say that? Uh, no, but I mean, that's money that went somewhere where it could have gone somewhere else. I mean, this is, I think, against Ryung. I, maybe you can get away with this, but. Uh. Well, the thing is, what you want to do instead of all those cannons is have your vision a little bit better, uh, have your units spread well, and make your gateways earlier or take another Nexus earlier and then add right. those later, right? If you really want those for the later game. But on three bases, that's really weird. Well, the most obvious location to attack for Terran is that fourth base or the main. Mm. It's not going to be the third base. I think when he sees these cannons, he's going to go, whoa, okay. Just siege up behind it. Ah. <laughs> well, 
There goes the so, Phoenix. The Phoenix killing a Liberator takes a very long time, though. Yeah. Getting another Phoenix right. now as well. He we'll realizes... We'll come back to that in a half hour and see if that yeah. uh, Liberator's still there. It's like he starts a Dark Shrine at the same time as a race. Um, okay, well, here, here comes we the go. exact same move as Game 1. Where the cannons are not, they cannot help you. The Liberators are going to edge forward here. There's a lot of surface area that can really be abused here. The gateways kind of get in the way, making a little bit of a bottleneck here. So as the army pushes forward, these Liberators can rain down so Did much damage. He just blinked down most of his Stalkers to the low ground there. Is that what I just saw? Uh, possibly. I think that's what I just saw, which is obviously a grave misclick. So he doesn't, I mean, he clears the Liberators, so that's nice, but there's four Liberators at a time in production. Uh, Do Kyung lost a lot of gateways there. He hasn't been above 180 supply yet, so he looks like he's going to be supply blocked here once again. Well, he's not making units. Maybe he lost too many gateways or something. There you go, two units. Okay. <laughs> and well, there's nothing block. here again. Yeah. Yeah, Do Kyung just needs to finish making the rest of the pylons that you uh, you want to have he here. Does. And, and now he's just lost all these probes. I think this could have been evacuated. Now, well, hold actually, on, hold on. Throwing hold away on. the probes makes sense because he was supply blocked. Oh, you know what? Okay. That's, like, a, that's actually a good way to look at it. You have all the probes you want. If you can't make an army, you're screwed. Okay, well, he's really he's going for broke here, but okay. broke is where he will end up. Yeah, uh, this is not going to last, I don't think. So the Immortals and the Colossus, and now the other Immortal are going to go down, and Do Kyung... No, hold on a second. Ryung's not... Ryung's huh. actually kind of kind of taking a beating. It seems like Ryung has a more uh, operational base, though. This is, wow. a weird game. this is a weird game, Okay, guys. I actually I think I think maybe we was going to get cleaned out there, but he killed 26 SCVs. So yeah, that puts it 47 to 63 right now. Do Kyung with a worker lead. Keep in mind, Do Kyung even lost some workers early huh. on. Okay. I guess this actually might work. I'm actually... Sorry, guys. This is one of the weirder games we've had to cast. There's been yeah. a lot of uh, snafus this uh, this time around. Yes. Can he get that immortal? I think so. Yeah. yeah. There it goes. However, I think Do Kyung might just, with a bigger army, yeah. just He's start to bulldoze on. this. He Liberator. can go kill that uh, command center up here. Yeah, he can get this. Has to be careful, though. You don't want to be flanked on that. There are not quite enough medevacs to heal this army. Okay, so that planetary goes down. Well, Next, I thought I the Liberators you stalkers. Yeah, but I think if he gets a few waves of Stalkers in... You think he can just blink on him? Uh, I think he can, yeah. Yeah, you might be right, actually. Yeah, here's what he's going to do. He's going to blink in there. Uh, I guess he just blinks in and takes out the other Liberator. Wow. And I actually thought Ryung was going to take this one. Okay, well, this has just not been our normal sequence of events in a game. Do Kyung wins. A win is a win. Is a win is a win is a win, as Shakespeare said. And yeah. so that means that Do Kyung, wonky play, adrenaline rushes, and all, will go on to face one of the greatest RTS players of all time. All right. Uh, innovation did kind of slam him 2-0, but Do Kyung, I feel like, uh, should do better this series, even though Innovation has seen even more of his play. He's got a victory under his belt, right? He was shaken, and he's still got that victory. He's playing more and more games on stage. Hopefully, he'll be a bit calmer after this commercial break. After this, Joe Young versus Innovation. Don't sleep 